Good, so in this example, we're carrying on with rationalizing the denominator. This one is a level five, six, probably more to the sixth level because you've got fractions and variables all mixed together. The command is simplify and we have no calculator. So how should we start here, Mr. Song? Um, I would like to simplify all the serves if I can. Mm -hmm. So here, seven over, square root of, I noticed that 98 is 49. Perfect square factor of 98 is 49. Good. And x cubed. And could you break the x cubed down further, uh -huh. or should we do that later? We can do it now. x squared times x. Good. Okay. And here's 7 root 2x over 3 mm -hmm. minus 2 square root of 2 to the 2 times x to the 6 times x. Good. So those even powers will come out from underneath the square root sign nicely. And okay. then what is the advantage to that outside term now? Um, I see that the square root of 49 and x squared can come out of the uh, surge. So mm -hmm. I will write 7 over 7x. Still underneath two x is 2x. And here is 7 square root of 2x over 3 minus 2. And the x to the 6th power is going to come out as x cubed. Okay, square root of x to the 6 is x to the 3 times x to the 3. So x to the 3 comes out. And now we have simplified the surge as much as possible. And next we should... Um, can we simplify these numbers here or should we distribute? I always like dealing with smaller numbers when I can, so mm -hmm. I would suggest some simplifying would help out. All right, so I see a 7 over 7, and that will be 1, and here is a 2 over 6, so that will become 1 over 3. Anything else? No, I mm -hmm. think that's it. 7 and 3 are both prime, nothing will go in there. So the 7s cancel, and we're left with root 2x. This one stays completely the same. And 2 over 6 becomes 1 over 3. Now I think we're ready to do some expansion. All right. So I'm going to distribute 1 over x times root 2x inside the bracket. Mm -hmm. So I get 1 over x times root 2x times 7 root 2x over 3 minus x root 2x times x cubed over 2 uh, times two x root 2x over 3. There. Good. Now, th you could, if you see it already, jump right to this next line. If you see what cancels, you see on the numerator and denominator of that first expansion is a root 2x, right? So you'll just be left with 7 over x times 3, or 3x. Mm -hmm. And if you don't write that previous line, we'll be okay with that, but it helps to see what's going on. And then subtract, same thing over here, you have root 2x on the numerator and the denominator, so that means multiply by 1 essentially, and therefore you have x cubed left on the numerator. Uh, should we simplify the x? Oh, yeah, oh. sure, that's good. x cubed divided by x is x squared, the root 2x over root 2x is exactly the same, so we can leave that, and over 3. Good. And if you like, we can find a common denominator here, multiply top and bottom of that second term by x. Mm -hmm. Now our common denominator of 3x, mm, so we could write 7 subtract x cubed all over 3x. Excellent. Okay, so that is as messy as it will get, fractions and variables involved in the process of um, yeah, rationalizing the denominator, expanding um, algebraic terms. In the next example, we'll have a look at one where we do use the calculator. So pull the calculator up on the screen. And just from the bottom there, can I grab it? No, I can't. Yeah. And this problem is a word problem where we are asked to 
we are given some figures with a rectangle. And the area of the rectangle is 4 root 63. The length of the rectangle is root 7. We're going to be asked to determine the width to three significant figures. So that's another clue that we need the calculator. OK, so area of the triangle, how would you find that? Is the length times the width. And then we start to fill in what we know, what we're given. It's a rectangle. It's a rectangle. Oh. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then fill in the area was four root sixty-three. Mm-hmm. And the length is root seven. And the width is what we're trying to find. Okay. So if we're trying to find the the width w, it's being multiplied by root seven. So the inverse operation of multiplying is dividing. So we'll take both sides and divide by root seven. And at this point, we can just use the calculator because we want the answer to three significant figures. So what I like is pressing alpha y equals if you have the ti because it looks then just like a fraction. And then 4 root 63 divided by root 7 and... 12. Okay, so we don't even have three significant figures. So we just have 12. I guess that one worked out nicer than, uh, than I thought. Mm -hmm. But in any way, um, the calculator can help when these numbers don't come out so nice and clean if you're asked for um, a rounded answer, not an exact answer. Okay, in this case, 12 ended up being as good as we could get. All right.